What's up, guys? I thought I'd uh, take a moment to share what we've been working on for the last couple weeks, which is the Gamers Lunch Studio. Uh, Got to have some comics love in here. This is actually a Marvel's comic from the 1950s, back when doing superheroes uh, was not in vogue because of the McCarthy hearings. So yes, they did romance uh, novel or type comics for a while. And here we've got my setup uh, for doing my work and for doing my uh, DMing. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. And here we have the table. So this is a table that uh, my brother and I, and I have been building for a while. We finally got it finished. It's got a 50 inch television inside of it. Uh, and we use a combination of real miniatures and virtual ones at the same time. You can see for the Raven over here, it's flying around, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Um, and then this is my command station for the most part, uh, wireless power. And then over here, uh, unfortunately still a lot of cords. This is the audio uh, mixing suite and command center. Um, this basically allows us to have, as you can see from over here, uh, one, two, three, four, and then myself right here for a total of five. So we have five uh, audio setups and then we also have cameras. Uh, you can see one in front of you here, that's the camera that shoots me directly. We've got a camera that uh, shoots station two there. We've got one that shoots station one right here. One, I'm sorry, this is station one and uh, that one's actually mounted inside the light because I thought it was funny and easy to do. And then station two and three and then four is at the end to shoot directly across. Um, you'll also notice we have a camera that actually shows you uh, the view of the battlefield from about the battlefield level so you can kind of see. So when we're doing cool stuff with minis, uh, I'll put that in there. We also have our giant ring light to light everyone. Everyone has their own individual lights uh, here as well. That's kind of the snake-like matrix-like creatures you see here, are a bunch of ring lights. And I'll take you over on that side so you can see it as well. Now these table, this this is my main work computer for streaming uh, right here. Uh, we're gonna take this table out and then I'm gonna put uh, LED lights behind all of these uh, for a little mood effect, but you can see each of the stations, it's got a fold out tray, cup holder, uh, and then pull up power. So if somebody needs power, they can just grab this, pull up, and they've got uh, USB and power included. And this is kind of the view from the other side of the table, you can see the lights, they're not super, you, you kind of forget they're there pretty quick, um, but yeah. So this is basically the setup. Um, and then these are also, there's my PS5, uh, the best X-Men character in the world, Bishop. Uh, I'll fight you. And then um, this is actually the PC or the, the Mac that I use uh, to DM with. And I VNC into the second, using the second monitor, I blow it up full screen and control it from there. Works really well for DMing because then uh, people don't turn around backwards. So yeah. Uh, here we've got minis storage. Uh, these all just get went in, so this was the last project I did. I've got to label all these. Um, we've got the uh, all the stuff on the top, the cap shield, uh, cloak and dagger, uh, Thanos, Thor, and Hulk, and a bunch of dragons. And uh, yeah, so this is the bookshelf behind me. I've had a lot of people ask all the different things that are on it. So uh, on this one, we've got the AEW World Championship, uh, Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk, and then uh, a bunch of miniatures, uh, player miniatures that I've had in other, that have been in other campaigns. Uh, on this one, we've got a decanter that was given to me by my sister-in-law, plus the Enterprise. I uh, can't can't go wrong with that. And then a bunch of stuff for D and D as well. And then here I have a ton of uh, board games. Some of them haven't even been opened. Uh, my wife loves to buy these. And then I've got all my uh, uh, this is all my arts and crafts stuff and my batteries. This is my worst shelf because it's a huge mess. Uh, one of our Patreon's uh, supporters actually drew us uh, that, which is the Downton Abbey, drew it for my wife. That was very nice. Uh, and then my paints and cards. Uh, so paintings for minis and card games. Um, we've got my drone here and more games. Uh, these are actually props for different games that we have. So one of the games I'm wearing a mask, so that's in there as well. Uh, I've got all my D&D &D books here on the second shelf that's generally covered up. 
Um, and then just today, I finally unearthed my cloud on uh, Daytona Hardy to go with my Shinra Electric Company sign. Of course, my PlayStation loyalty and Parappa the Rapper. Uh, and then these are all the various cards that I've gotten uh, from my wife to my wife, things of that nature. And she got me this uh, hourglass right here. So that's pretty cool. And then last but not least on the left side here, uh, some of my music making stuff and I have a pipe with bubbles that my wife bought me because she thought it was funny and I did too. Uh, my favorite books are on the shelf here as well as my goblet full of minis that I use during my D&D, &D, my next upcoming D&D &D game. Um, and then we've got the merch perch where you can get all your uh, merchandise for Gamer's Ledge, including mugs. Uh, and don't forget we're giving away this Optimus Prime fig pen uh, to anybody in the lower 48 so you can get that. And then we've got a couple more board game. Uh, we've got the fig pin shelf. This is where all the fig pins live. And then last but not least, we've got a uh, humidifier and uh, some other games that haven't yet migrated to the other shelves. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, storage in the closet behind the mirror. I uh, won't show that because that's messy. But yeah, this is what we've been working on this studio. Uh, it's taken about really two months but the last two weeks have been the, the big push to get it done. Um, we debuted it with our first episode of Emancipation of Dragons last Monday, uh, which is up on the YouTube channel and uh, in reruns on the Twitch stream as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I wanna know your reaction to the studio. What do you think? Um, and uh, I will have a legit reaction video for next week. But till then, thanks for watching and game on.